quiet town of Bethlehem, a child named Jesus was born to Mary, a simple maiden, and Joseph, a humble carpenter. This was no ordinary birth. Prophets had foretold his coming, heralding him as the Messiah, the beacon of hope and light for mankind. As whispers of this miraculous birth spread, King Herod, feeling his throne was at risk, ordered a brutal massacre of innocent children. Guided by divine dreams, Mary and Joseph fled with baby Jesus to Egypt. As a boy, Jesus already displayed an uncanny wisdom. At just 12, he debated scriptures with temple scholars, leaving them in awe. However, it was only at the age of 30 that he began his transformative public ministry. He chose 12 diverse disciples, from fishermen to tax collectors, to accompany him on a mission that would alter the course of history. The miracles he performed were astounding. He healed the sick, gave sight to the blind, turned water into wine, and even raised the dead, proving his divine power. His teachings, rooted in love, forgiveness, and faith, drew massive crowds. He spoke in parables, using simple stories to convey profound truths, making the divine relatable. But his rising influence was perceived as a threat by religious leaders and the Roman establishment. They conspired against him, manipulating one of his closest disciples, Judas, to betray him for a mere 30 silver coins. The events that followed were swift. Jesus faced false accusations, was handed over to Pontius Pilate, and against Pilate's own judgment, was sentenced to death by crucifixion. On the cross, after enduring hours of pain and ridicule, Jesus uttered the poignant words, Father, Father, Father forgive, forgive them, them, showcasing his boundless love and mercy. His body was taken and laid in a tomb, sealed by a large stone. Three days later, the tomb stood empty. Jesus, resurrected, appeared to his disciples and many others over 40 days, reinstating his teachings and emphasizing the importance of faith. He then ascended to heaven, but not without leaving behind the promise of the Holy Spirit, a divine guide for all believers that would later become the bedrock of Christianity. Yeah.